Champions. The first ever Big 12 yeah. championship team. Congratulations. At BYU, yeah. BYU Women's Cross, BYU Country, women's cross Country, Lexi Halliday Lowry and Jenna Hutchins. Uh, you brought the trophy with you. Like, look at this. this look at this piece beautiful. of awesome. It's beautiful. This is beautiful. What uh. is, I want both of you to answer this question. What does it mean to both of you to be the first team to secure a Big 12 championship? Um, well, in the pre-race meeting, Coach told us that we had that opportunity. We hadn't quite put that together, that we would be the first to do it. And so that gave us a lot of motivation going in. And um, she had told us, first one in, get the win. And so that was kind of the, the vibe the next day of, you know what, we had the opportunity to be the first, so why not be the first to get it? And Lexi, you finished fourth overall, Jenna sixth. When you, when you cross Jenna and you see Lexi in front of you, you're like, okay, we're scoring points right now. How confident were you right away that, like, hey, we're going to win this? Well, honestly, there weren't too many teams that we were competing against in the Big 12, and the biggest component or biggest opponent being Oklahoma State. And when there's not a lot of teams, it makes it harder to have a difference in the, the scoring. So, um, I was really happy to see Lexi up there, and I knew I had two teammates right behind me, so that gave me a lot of confidence, but I knew it would still be a really close race, so um, it made me really happy to see that we got the win. And what, was it seven in the top 15? Yeah. Was that what it yeah. was? Mm -hmm. Hey, that's how you win, right? Well, <laughs> that, that a awesome. runaway, pun intended, right? <laughs> it's unbelievable performance. The conditions were not great. Um, for those that aren't aware, like what, what was it like to run in that race? What were the temps like, and how do you prepare for something like that mentally? Yeah, um, we knew it'd be cold. We weren't sure how cold, so we had brought stuff in preparation for that. We had like hand warmers, toe warmers, gloves, arm, war arm sleeves, and on the line, we this. It was freezing. You could see your breath in the air, and it's definitely different than a Utah cold. Um, and so on the line, we decided that we needed to put some olive oil on our legs. That helps keep you warm also, definitely. Olive oil on your legs? It's a unique sight, but it definitely okay. helps keep you warm. <laughs> really? Yeah. How cold was it? Did, you know, did they tell you how cold it was? They said it was 31, but the feel like was 22 just because of the wind. <laughs> it, so was it was cold. very cold. The wind chill had it at 22 degrees. Yeah, it was oh very gosh. cold. Yeah, more olive oil, please. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe we hold it in Texas next time, uh, just to be a little warmer. And the football team Saturday is playing 87 degrees, and the, would you rather run in the cold or to, or like hot excessive humid. hot? I like the cold. You embraced it. Yeah, I can. We can really do anything, but I like the cold. Yeah, I feel like I also like the cold, just because we're kind of used to it here in Utah, and also um, just gives good cross country vibes. So like the fall weather. Like, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I see that. Yeah, because in the in the spring, I guess at Nationals, you guys went to Austin and competed in the humidity, right? It was pretty hot. So, yeah, you guys get it. Um, what, what does it mean to have actually done this and now prepare for regionals and what you guys hope will be a national championship? Because that's program standard is we win championships, this now and others. Yeah, I think it's, it was a great confidence booster to go to conference with the goal of winning and to achieve that goal. Um, but still, we, ha we have a lot to work on. And we have a little more time, mostly just like with um, mentally and spiritually, just like continuing to capitalize on those benefits for ourselves. Mm -hmm. Because physically, we've done most of the work. Now it's just getting all those little gains. But we have a lot of confidence going to regionals. And yeah, I hope they just to continue to keep the ball rolling to nationals. Yeah, Jenna, what are those little gains that uh, Lexi's referencing? What are those things you're working on to try and get better? Yeah, I feel like we really try to focus on this point in the season since we've already done most of the big things in practice through um, through all of our workouts. I feel like it's all the little details that add up, like getting the right nutrition, sleep, filling out um, a little daily gratitude journal, or um, even looking at scriptures. I just feel like all those little things add up, and um, the more mentally prepared you are, the just the more ready you feel when you step up on the line at nationals. So we just want to feel very confident stepping on the line and knowing that we did absolutely everything we could to be prepared. Can you eat Halloween candy, or is that totally off limits right now? Um, we're always down for a good treat, but probably not during this part of the season. <laughs> <laughs> we are ramping up, not down. Yeah, wh what is it that in a race you have to overcome? We talked about the weather, but like the, the physical part of that, the mental part of that. What, what are you thinking about? What are you going up against? It's different for everyone, and it's different for every race, too. Um, for me, honestly, I would say it's a lot of, in a race, you have a lot of self-doubt. And you can definitely tell the races where an individual can overcome that because they have their best races. Um, when it starts to hurt, uh, it's so easy to find any excuse 
as to why you could have a bad day. Like, oh, I didn't do this this week. Like, that's why I'm having a bad day. So the hardest part is not giving yourself an excuse and just trusting in not only myself, but coach mainly, because then it takes it off of me. And it's like, I know coach has done everything to prepare me for this moment. So why not just capitalize on it? Like obtrusive thoughts and you're just like repelling yes, these while you're we going, know yeah. we're fit. It's just yeah. a matter of doing it it's hard no matter yeah. how fit you are it is always hard so it's just getting to a, a, a space of mind where you can push past that's your good limits. that's good because connor mance i think said it really yes. well like two years ago he said i can suffer longer than other people i was like that is really good what do you overcome in a race jenna um, to be honest, I feel like mine's very similar. I feel like just the aspect of self-doubt is a really big thing. Uh, we step onto the line knowing that we have been prepared by, by Coach Taylor and we're here with our teammates. We have a ton of support, but I feel like in the race it is, um, there is like an individual aspect of it as like controlling your own thoughts and how you deal with different situations in a race if, if moves are made that you don't expect. So I feel like for me, I just really try to be um, very flexible in a race and um, try to be good at adapting to a situation that I don't know, may, may or may not occur. So just focusing on trusting my coach and my teammates. And if I do that, I know it's going to be a good race. Dilji Taylor is not one to pat herself on the back. We've tried to get her to go there where it's like, okay, look, you got something special going at BYU and have for a number of oh, years. Yeah. Like, we're, what, we're cooking with oil what, right now. What? Yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> All of oil. Sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> What's happening there? And she's just like, oh, it's just my athletes. It's just the girls. But from your perspective, what is it that she does that makes running at BYU so unique and so special and so successful? And both of you can answer. We'll start with you, Lexi. Okay. That's a hard answer. That's a hard question to answer. Um, she gives her whole soul to this program and to each of her athletes. And it's hard to explain what she does for uh, each of us individually, especially when we're on the road and we see other teams and what their coaches do for them. We are really lucky here at BYU for what Coach Taylor does for us. It's all the little things. She writes us notes before the race. She'll literally come. She just does so many little things that in the end it adds up. And I think that's also why in a race, like I said, when it's hard to over, I'm like, I know Coach has done everything to help prepare me. And to, to pair back, I'm like, I can at least perform to my best mm. in hopes to get other women to want to come to BYU because I've had an amazing experience being under her. Jenna, what would you add to that? Yeah, I feel like she just set such a great example to empower and inspire us to be to be confident on the line um, and, and everything that we do. I feel like I've learned a lot from her, not, not only with my running, but also in life. So like Lexi said, all the little, little things that she does for us, like the note cards and the pre-race meetings, it just, it makes us feel really loved. And so I feel like um, we're running with a lot of heart uh, while we're racing. and just feel like um, that's something really special that not a lot of other programs get to experience. No, she's really good. Yes. She could have easily gone to Texas, Stanford, Oregon. They've all offered, the, you know, we hear it, and she's stayed at BYU kind of thing. Congratulations on this trophy, and hopefully it's the first of a couple. Yeah. Good luck. Let's go. Let's give you some BYU weeks. Sports Nation <laughs> karma for regionals and yep. Lubbock. And, and the first in BYU history. Yep, that's yes. awesome. Thanks for coming in. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Great to have you.